What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful Shabbat evening. I'm doing real good myself. Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers and sisters in recognition to observing this day for worship of the Most High. Sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening. Let's get some worship and praises in, my people, and some rest, okay? Because we definitely need to do this, okay? Now, as we can see the injustice in this country, you know, come into fruition and just keep on continually, continually to thrive. You understand what I'm saying? The disease of this country just continues to, you know, thrive. Now, it's no surprise to us, you understand, that Kyle Rittenhouse got off. Because uh, if you guys remember, just this past uh, Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday, yes, I did a video on Kyle Rittenhouse and the judge saying that the fix was in, okay? Yeah, the fix was in. We knew it. We saw it coming. You understand? I explained to you guys that the reason why Kyle Rittenhouse was going to get off because he's plugged in, you understand, with the so-called evil doing powers that be. You understand? Anytime you see them flash this right here, you understand? Uh, 666, you understand? 0666, that's what that boils down to. Has nothing to do with the uh, white supremacist power sign or nothing like that. Uh, and I'm finna show you why I say that, okay? Here we go. We got Mr. Kaepernick himself throwing up this 666 sign right here. See, this is uh, all about devil worship and who their alle allegiance is to. You understand? This is the reason why uh, Kyle Rittenhouse has such good representation in court, not only by his own lawyers, but by the judge himself. You understand? And speaking of the judge, you know, it must be nice to be able to manipulate, you understand, uh, the arms of justice in your favor or to whoever, to whoever you grant the favor to, as in this case, like with Kyle Rittenhouse. But it comes with the price. It's basically... That ability, that whole perk is a, um, how can I say, a double-edged sword. You understand what I'm saying? Because you will the power for the wrong way. And you ain't getting away with nothing. And we're going to go into that, you know, uh, as we go on, you know, before we end this uh, particular commentary right here. But I just want to show you another guy that's plugged in. You understand? Ah, the ex-president himself, Barack Obama. <laughs> Look what he's throwing up. You see? See, this ain't no white power sign. This is devil sign. This is devil worshiping right here. This is who their allegiance is to. You understand? The rulers of darkness and principalities, you know, that's up on this, you know, that rule in, in uh, dark places and all that kind of stuff. Okay, this is who they worship. And this is the reason why there'll be no so-called justice for us until our Redeemer, our kinsman Redeemer, come back and redeem us and get rid of the unjust like these people, okay? He said this was going to happen. And I know a lot of us, and a lot of, lot of us out there, you understand, is tired of this stuff taking place. You understand? We, we, we're, we're fed up with this particular thing. There's nothing that we're going to have to, we're going to be able to do, you know, as a people on our own to put a stop to this. You understand? But what we can do is cry out loud. You understand? I mean, to the most high in the name of Yahweh Shai. You understand? And to help to bring the redemption that much more closer and near. You understand? I can see it. I already know it's coming anyway. You understand? But like I said, a lot of us upset about this kind of thing. You know, we had Jacob Blake, uh, uncle out there. He was talking about the injustice and how they let this man off and everything. But let's not make this about a black thing because I do believe that Kyle Rittenhouse, um, original um, <laughs> person's intended to get hurt or kill that night was black people. But it didn't turn out like that. You understand what I'm saying? And that was a very, very wicked thing on his behalf, rather it was for blacks or whites or any other color, for that example. I'm going to just say that. You understand? And uh, 
don't worry you understand let's not get so upset what we got to do is rest in the most high because he tells us right here in his word see that old wicked ass judge gave Kyle Rittenhouse a repeat a reprieve you understand a reprieve other words you know hey <laughs> well they both think they got away with something they ain't got away with a damn thing you understand what I mean like I said, he gave Kyle Rittenhouse a reprieve. That's what it is. But the judgment is coming for all they wicked asses. You can rest assured of that. Okay? We're going to take this from Psalms chapter 37, verse uh, 1 to 10. Okay? This is the Psalms of David. Listen to this carefully. Okay, people? Fret not thyselves because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the blade well cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb okay trust in the lord and do good so shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed delight thyself also in the lord and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently. Listen, wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who pursueth well prospereth in his way because of of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. In other words, don't try to rise up on him. Don't try to rise up on him. Some coming from a lot worse than what we could ever do. You understand? To continue. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall be, well, shall not be. Let's read that again. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall come to pass. Well, and it shall not be. Okay? This is the Most High right here assuring us on what's to come for the wicked, this wicked ass system. That's why I say this is a double-edged sword for that old judge. So all of this old <laughs> devil worshiping and flashing them down, uh, devil worshiping signs and shit, yeah, it might have got you off in this dispensation. But trust and believe, you ain't seen the higher court just yet. And you have not seen the real judge. You understand? And <laughs> yeah. trust and believe it will not be good for you and you will not get off that damn sign that you flashing right there ain't gonna get you out of what's coming for you you understand you're gonna see it before you leave this earth and then when you wake up into the next disposition you understand you're gonna know right there what what it is that's just what it is okay Y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular commentary. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.